William Magwood is meeting with his Japanese counterparts and officials at TEPCO, which operates the power plant. He wants to hear about the challenges of dealing with 400 tons of contaminated water every day and see how effective the cleanup measures have been so far. The issue of the water that's being released uh, from the site is one that's troubled a lot of people. I've traveled to other countries in the region and even they are concerned about it. Um, the uh, Japanese authorities have come up with a, uh, an idea to use an ice wall to block that water. Uh, that's something that's a new idea. There are some questions that we have about it. We don't understand the entire idea, so we're going to get a briefing on that and uh, hopefully learn a lot more about it. TEPCO engineers admit that despite efforts to decontaminate the wastewater, radioactive tritium is impossible to remove. But Magwood is optimistic that tritium's actual damage to the environment could be relatively small, depending on how it's released. The, uh, the processes that are already working on the site are removing the most dangerous uh, radioactive elements from the water. Uh, the tritium still remains. The tritium is very difficult to remove. Uh, however, um, it is probably possible to carefully release the tritium over time in a way that does not damage the environment and doesn't endanger human health. Um, I don't know what uh, Japanese plans are in the way of releasing that water, uh, but uh, from a technical standpoint, I think it can be done safely. Experts say that one of the most difficult challenges of decommissioning the plant is removing food debris left in the reactors after the meltdown. And Magut says that there is no magic wand to wipe out this problem. I think people have to be realistic about how difficult this is and how long it's going to take. Um, during my visit to Japan this week, uh, people have asked me from time to time, you know, are there technologies in the U.S. that can help solve this problem? Uh, the reality is that there is no technology that exists anywhere to solve this problem. It has to be developed. It has to be done with research. Um, it will take time. Uh, but clearly, uh, there's um, fantastic experts in Japan uh, and around the world that can work together to find a good solution. Magwood says he wants to invite his counterparts and officials from Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority to the U.S. Commission so they can see how decisions are made there. We do business a bit differently than they do, as you noted. Um, you know, for example, um, in the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, um, we work on a voting basis. Uh, we haven't really seen that with NRA. Mostly it seems that things come out in more of a consensus fashion. Um, we think that kind of debate's healthy, and um, I think it's important. Um, I have to convince other people, and I think that's a good process. It's a good discipline. And uh, so that's the sort of thing we can t discuss with our counterparts to see if they're interested in learning how we do, how our commission does business. Magrib stresses that U.S. authorities are always ready to extend further support to Japan. He's visiting Fukushima Daiichi again on Thursday. Reiko Sakurai, NHK World, Tokyo.